can you keep the weight off for the next 20 years? Some people do. The thing I'm promoting on this page is that disclaimer. I didn't make it. I didn't discover. I didn't invent it. You can see so many places whenever it comes to lose weight. Make a plate like this much of a protein, half of a vegetables, and eat carbs this much. And some people go six ounces of protein, eight ounces of veggies, four ounces of carbs. Some website or some company says, these are my containers. This cup is for protein. This cup is for veggies. This cup is for carbs. You gotta buy this. All of this, I put it in the just one language. That's all. In addition to that, importance of fibers. If you consume at least 23 grams of fibers a day, every day, you can control the bad cholesterol and you can steady high blood sugar. You can tame the blood pressure. And people who experience with the water, not drinking enough water, drinking enough water, make a huge difference on your weight loss journey, as well as your keeping the weight off. Some studies find that people lose weight, but really tiny percentage of people keeping the weight they lost. Keeping the weight off is very tough business. You have to be able to sustain it. So that's where portion control comes in. Portion control is more like you're training your size of a stomach. Portion control is a controlling and training your stomach, size of a stomach with enough of a protein or nutrient to bring it into your body to make it sustaining good health. Bone health, keep the muscle, ligament, keep it strong, your hair still thick, your skin glowing, your nails still healthy and strong. Those are the all effort we like to put it in if we could with nutrient without not too much of a supplement. Can we do it? We can try. I'm not a dietitian. I'm a just very friendly personal trainer. Cheers, drink some water. Water even has a portion. So I'm aiming for four liters a day. That's a 16 glasses of eight ounce water. When I drink it that much a day, I feel good. I don't feel bloated. My joint doesn't hurt. Everything is regulated. When I don't drink it enough of water, salty food from the restaurant and take out food, my body bloated. Not just look wise, my joint hurts. At 52, sometimes those things happen. So drink water. It's included on your portion control. I like to talk about the sleep too. You do have a portions of a sleep. You have to portion time of the day. You have to try to make it put it into place i'm aiming seven hours a day minimum not every day i get it trying to cut off device a couple of hours before i go to bed tough but i'm trying work out five days a week 45 minutes to one hour i lift heavy i do interval training i do stretch foam roll and massage with my massaging tools like lacrosse balls or tennis balls or better canes. Those are as well portioned. Those things, it has to be in place. Not just the one thing. Bless you. Drink some water. Let's talk about the kitchen and I make a plate. On the plate, there's a one cup of vegetables, two third cup of protein, whatever protein source you like, half cup of carbs. You need a fat, but fat is good for you. You keep hearing it.
people do overdo because fat is so yummy. I love, I love, I love, I love nuts. If I could eat whole thing, I could eat a whole thing of a whole container of that fat. Fat is high dense calorie wise. So we're gonna keep it in check, quarter cup or handful of unsorted nuts. I'm, I keep saying it unsorted nuts because when you eat sodium, more salt food, those are very appetite enhancing chemicals. So it invites you eat more. When you try to lose weight, when you try to keep the weight off you lost already, that is not a good invitation you want to take. I'm 5'4", I'm size like this. My husband's 6'2". We don't eat the same amount. He eats five meals a day, five proteins. Portions are all the same. One cup vegetables to third cup protein, half cup carbs. If you eat fat, of course you need to eat fat. That's quarter cup or a handful. It's the same, but he eats five meals a day. I eat three to four meals a day. When you starting to lose weight, your calories and your food has to be reevaluated. Let's say you started five meals a day, four carbs with it, and now you lost a little bit weight. I would keep five meals a day, take uh, one carbs out and see how it goes. You cannot start from your 170 pounds and you are following bikini competitor's diet. Right now, if you are eating 2,500 calories, you shouldn't drop 1,100 calories per day diet. You need to make room to go to next tier. Plateau is a new start new beginning around that time you're gonna readjust calories and nutrient generations like baby boomers even generation x their idea of protein associate with fat especially female they avoid eating the fat skinnier the better light on the number on scale is the better but is that good where is the weight all comes from? It's not all from fat. You lose the weight from the just water weight as well. Lose the weight from the bone. Lose the weight from the muscle. Those parts are all part of weight loss. If you are, your goal is only losing the weight on the number, on scale. So make sure you eat good food, good veggies, enough veggies, enough fibers, Make everything moving, going, moving down, regulate you and deliver where when you have enough clean room, clean house, your nutrient, nutrient goes to the right place to keep it all healthy. So let's say I eat breakfast, cup of veggies to third cup of protein, half cup of carbs, and fat and I'm eating lunch remember my plan is different than your plan I eat one cup one cup of veggies two third cup of a protein one fruit I will eat one more veggies dinner two cups of veggies two third cup protein I will eat one fruit if I'm hungry I will add one snack in between when I'm hungry. I will eat one cup of uh, vegetables, two third cup of uh, protein. Usually I'm hungry in the middle. Those are the, my running around the time. I don't have uh, much time. So I eat just quick. This is snack. So I don't feel hungry. I feel satisfied. And there's a times too. I used to eat 7, 9, 12, 3, 6, 30 is my dinner. So I used to eat those. My husband still eat that cycle. Me, my schedule is changed. So I don't eat till I finish my work. 
So usually about between 11.30 to 1.30. That's my breakfast time, my first meal. I don't call it even uh, breakfast, dinner, or lunch. I call it first, second, third, fourth meal. I call it by number. I don't discriminate the food. This breakfast food shouldn't be on dinner. No, I don't believe that. I can eat eggs for the dinner. I eat dinner food or lunch food for the breakfast. Make it life easier. It's more simpler. Food is food. As long as there is a portions I want, it's there. So most of the days, I eat that way, with the healthy carbs. That is the key during the days. On Friday, though, that's my refeed day. Refeed day is a little similar to cheat day. Cheat day, people eat whatever they want. Whole full bowl of uh, pasta and brownies, cookie doughs, peanut butter, sandwiches, pizza, and hamburgers. Where, where, where's, where's the protein? How are you gonna fill you up? Your brain thinks, okay, I have enough nutrient uh, to replenish my body but I don't get it. So body feels I'm hungry, even though your tummy full, so full like this much. Bring your nutrients in while you are eating on those food you are craving. That's a repeat day in my opinion. But this is because of the portion control. You're gonna control your portions. So your tummy gets control the portions. So for breakfast, I will add one cup of uh, veggies to third cup of protein. Half a cup of banana cake as my breakfast. Lunch, I will eat one cup of uh, veggies to third cup of uh, protein. I will eat chocolate pie, mini chocolate pie cup. Or the snack, cup of uh, veggies to third cup of Protein. I will eat cheesecake, half cup. Dinner. Dinner, I go wild. I will have a drink. Try to eat a cup of veggies, really forcing myself to third cup of protein. And I will eat a pot full of popcorn because that's what I like. I really like popcorn. If you like something else, you can eat it. Most of a repeat day, we tended to go to a restaurant on repeat day. If we have, we have a plan to go, that's the repeat day. If you don't go to a restaurant, we'll take out Indian food. Some weeks, some Friday, we like to eat Jewishy Deli. And some days, we like to eat Japanese food, sushi. And some days, Korean food. There is a really good multicultural restaurants around our neighborhood. So we can choose whatever we like, hamburger and a pizza and pasta. Although I'm not a big fan of uh, pizza and pasta. I used to like that a lot, but uh, nowadays I don't. But we ordered it because the children wanted, my husband wanted, they ordered it. Me, I'm not even liking it anymore. So I do it. My whatever the veggies, whatever the protein, and I will may eat pizza crust. That's the part I like only. And the dessert I made during the day, the leftovers, I will eat. I make about five kinds of little dessert for that day, but I make small portions. So each person can get one or two of each dessert but still we have five kinds so you do get probably seven of those portions they're a little bit small like a portion it's about half cup even the refeed day this is a bad carb the carbs portion it falls into the carbs category still your meal is portioned you normally eat three to four carbs a day with uh, all other stuff, or sometimes one or two carbs a day with uh, veggies and uh, protein. And you may have a five to seven. 
those kind of little treats for the, your calves. Your tummy still get stretches. And because you are used to on those other days with a certain portions, your tummy is very stressed. You are, you're feeling very full. You're gonna be, at the beginning, you're gonna be a little disappointed. You wanna eat a lot of stuff. Your eyes want to so much, but your tummy can take this much. You cannot eat so much. Your tummy is taking only certain portions. And then you're gonna be glad the next day. You're gonna start again. One cup of veggies, two third cup of protein, half cup of carbs, Cheers, drink some water. If you liked it, click the subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. If you have a questions, leave a comment below. Or try to make a video out of it. I will make a, I will try to make a video to explain it. Whatever there was question, if you need to explain. Um, Oh, fruits. Yeah, fruit. You're allowed to have a fruit. You need a fruit for the day. You can eat two to three fruits a day. And how about oils, butter, and salad dressing? Of course you can have it. I try not to cook with a oil. I don't find that that's a very necessary thing. I will use oils for salad dressing and stuff though. Or roasting the vegetables, I will use oil. Olive oil, two teaspoons every day you can use it salad dressing you can use two tablespoons of salad dressing i hope i cover everything what you need to know so that's it